Hi guys, it's Aslan. Welcome back. This is lesson 16 of my Maths Help that's brought to you by me and Joyce Learning. And today's lesson is special because um, it is going to be High Raya edition. So anyway, today we have two questions with the topic of angle. And let's view the first question. So, first question. A rectangular piece of paper with top corners A and B was folded as follows. Find angle X. So first thing I'm going to do is label what I already know, which is this 90 degrees over here and this 90 degrees over here. Oh, 90 degrees. Okay, so what we are trying to do is find angle X. So in order to find angle X, we have to find this angle over here. In order to find that, we need first to find out the top corner of triangle B which is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 73 degrees, which is equal to 17 degrees. So here is 17 degrees. And I'll just draw the arrow to show you how it's folded. And since it's folded, you also know that this here is also 17 degrees. So we'll take 17 degrees times 2, which is equal to 34 degrees. And then we take 34 degrees plus 100 degrees, which is equal to 134 degrees. Now, I forgot to say, but for the other side, it's also the same. It is folded this way, which means that this angle here... Wait, I think I'll use a different colour. So, this angle and this angle are both the same. So that means that we can take 180 degrees minus 134 degrees, which is equal to 46 degrees. And then 46 degrees, you can divide it by 2. 46 degrees divided by 2 is equal to 23 degrees, which is this angle over here. Sorry. 23. Oh. 23 degrees Okay, now we can take 23 degrees plus 90 degrees which is equal to 113 degrees and in order to find X we simply take 180 degrees minus 113 degrees which is equal to 67 degrees and that is X and the answer for the first question. Now we can move on to the second question. Okay. Now, personally, I find this question very interesting because um, it is actually quite hard to see, but there's actually a shortcut and I'll explain it to you shortly. So, the question. ABCD is a rectangle and BED is a triangle. Find the sum of angle X and angle Y. Now, in the question, they say find the sum of angle X and angle Y. So we actually don't need to find one, one of each. So how much X is and how much Y is. And that actually makes things a lot easier. So here we can see uh, basically what I've just said. So um, triangle, I'm going to put triangle D. Hold on, something's wrong with the pen. Okay, triangle DBE is equal to angle D... Okay, this is a little confusing. Maybe I should change it. Um, yeah, I should draw on the graph instead. Okay, so for triangle DBE, we know that all its angles is here, 1, here, 2, and here, 3. So that is the angles of DBE. But if you look at DBC, the angles are not actually very different. I'm going to be using green for this one. So for DBC, it is this here, this one over here, and this one over here. As you can see, these two triangles actually share um, two similar angles, which is this one, which I'm going to do in red. So this angle here and this angle here. They both share it. So, we can cancel it out. So, the only differences are... I'll 
it's gonna be a little confusing okay so the only differences between them i'll just cancel this out is angle y angle x this angle c and this angle e which is 42 degrees and this uh, i forgot to say this uh, c over here is 90 degrees right so that means that x plus y plus 42 degrees is equal to 90, 90 degrees. So x plus y is simply 90 degrees minus 42 degrees, which is equal to 48 degrees. Now, if the people who did not read the question properly, they might actually try to find x and y on its own. But the question is, find the sum of angle X and angle Y. Thus, that is all we have to do. It's just two steps. The answer is 48 degrees for the sum of angle X and Y. So, um, I hope you found this lesson um, enriching and interesting since, uh, yeah, since uh, this question is actually, there's actually a shortcut and I hope it will help you in future because I think that actually, there was actually one question in my PSLE that had something like this. Anyway, if you found my uh, lessons interesting, make sure to go to www.joyouslearning.com.sg slash blog to find out more and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye!